Welcome, we've just installed Arch Merged 6.4.1. Mate is installed, but we did not install the folder personal. So let's have a look inside the personal folder. So we can run this as well. We can divide it like so. There is also a half a way that's not a quarter. Some of the desktops allow you to have a quarter. So this is a half of the screen. Open in terminal. I've pimped my terminal already a little bit, so maybe I better show you that as well. So in the normally it looks like this, and then you go to profile preferences and you say show the menu bar or don't show the menu bar. You make it a little bit bigger. This is way too big. So let's make it reasonably big, like this one. And what did I change as well? Colors is still the same. We will change the theme later and the theme will become black. So we'll uh, see a black screen later. It was normally solid color. I like it to be transparent. So how transparent that's up to you. Scrolling is disabled. Don't want to see it and unlimited. So I can scroll back uh, number lines, uh, whatever I want. Okay. So that is my setting. I close it up. I open it again and there is no title bar present. And let's get cracking. So number hundreds is going to install all personal folders like the dot icons, dot themes. You have to create manually. So the only thing it does is check, hey, does the folder exist? No. Okay, then I'll create it. It just creates folders. Sometimes I use them also to be sure that the folders are there for copying over uh, data. Then the personal bookmarks, I've already run these things, meaning they are here. So these are the personal bookmarks. If we run this script, then we don't have to make them all the time. This is what I need always. Go to the dot icons, dot icons, to the user share themes, user share icons, but in the home folder icons and so on. The con keys, you need to go to the con keys always. Check out the applications and the variety for the wallpapers, stuff like that up to you to decide if you want it is just to, to change here in the settings folder and then number 200 is firefox if you have not run did not run firefox yet you should do it right now because then it makes a folder and when the folder is created we can copy paste the settings these settings are there to have um, the input boxes from time to time in youtube you can't see what you are typing that's a bit uh, strange and that's a little css uh, trick to change it we use or i use gimp uh, if you don't use gimp don't install the script so it adds some shadow uh, plugins or extensions so that's done 310 is very uh, specific so we can use bash as some um, and in your terminal, we can also use ZSH. The fun in ZSH particularly is that you can have lots of themes and they can be randomly uh, shown. That's fun, but it's more than that. And I still have to make some time free to learn more about ZSH because you can do lots and lots of things with ZSH. But time is not present to do that yet. So last thing, uh, yes, the last thing I'll install is this one from these uh, uh, scripts here. That's me telling me, Tim, telling GNOME screenshot to not save uh, as PNG, but as GPG. You know that's for my website. The last two I can't do because it's on VirtualBox and you don't do that on VirtualBox. So if you want to have the long-term support, so the LS LTS kernel, rather than the very very latest so if you press ctrl alt which we don't have yet then we have neo fetch this is the voila, this is the latest kernel so not the lts kernel you just run this and if you don't want to get rid of it again you run this but not on virtualbox there is more things to do we have uh, in Mate, we have three extra folders and one of them is the Marco and Marco is these icons for instance so there are settings and if we open it we display it there are some settings and you find these settings on uh, 
the R3. I don't invent these things, they are there. And we can just run it. So right mouse click. And you see some of the settings pop up and some of them are well in the background. So I don't want any icons there. That's my point. Then the keyboard shortcuts, um, Ctrl Alt T. Nothing happens. So what do I do? I do a dump and a load. So when everything is created and all my shortcuts are in there, I do a dump and it ends up here. It's a lot of things like uh, Super Shift Escape. We know the screen, you know the, the shortcut. It gives us the system monitor. In this case, not the GNOME system monitor, but the Mate system monitor. So all these groups, all these, these shortcuts, I miss them when I'm in other distros, other desktops. And, and then I say, look, um, save them for next time. Next time I install Mate, I don't want to make all my keyboard shortcuts again. So that's why this load and this dump. All right, let's go. And we have the conf loads. And what are we going to load this thing inside the machine? And Ctrl Alt is working. Ctrl Shift Escape is working. The next wallpaper, so it's okay, but let's trash it anyway. Alt T, it's trashed. So the keyboard shortcuts are working. And Alt arrow to the right, and Alt T for the trash. Alt trash, let's take one that is nice. And so it's okay. Let's spend the time on the rest. What's the rest? The rest is the compass. That's something specific that I can add just for fun and really only in Mate because Mate is suitable to it. We have the macro as a display manager, but we can also use a compass. Well, display manager between brackets. So Compass can be uh, installed, but there is only a profile in there. So it's not the actual program that's in there. So if you want to apply this as well, then you have to open the terminal uh, by the way, by the way, super return works as well. So we with the shortcuts that we're used to in XFCE, in i3, the open box, I just took a few that I really need and really want, and that's in there. You can add more. So, compass. Then you do this, or maybe you sudo backman minus s, but that will not work. So you need to figure out what compass do I want. And one you need is this one. You want the compass Manjaro. Just take it from me. That's the one you want. Number 10. Yes, that's my name. And it's going to install the Compis Manjaro. Edit, nope, nope. Installing Compis. And it's going to take a while to compile this. And it's fun watching all these things go, but as long as it installs, it's fine, all these warnings and scanning and generating. But in the end, it should install. So, saving here some time and pausing. Okay, Compass Manjaro has been built. And we tell him that he can install. It takes a while, but it's only 21 megabytes. There you have it. We have now Compass Manjaro. The question is, does it work? Because it kind of wobbles, you know, what Compass is. By the way, you don't have to do Compass at all. It's just a choice. You don't have to do it at all. So in May tweak, we can have the option here in Windows to actually tell him to go for Marco with no compositor, no transparency, no shadows. With Marco software compositor with shadows and with transparency and we've just installed something new. That's why I tell it to you guys here in Mate. It's so easy. It's just a drop down, say, go ahead, use Compass. Now, the thing is, 
compass is not doing anything it doesn't really feel like this is compass at all well you go to system preferences look and feeling compass config settings manager show this warning compass may crash your system beware that that's the case that's an advanced tool use with caution i mean it's true i crashed my systems a lot you can see my youtube videos i've made on xfc i think and uh, let's say linux mint and all that so yes before everything was working i did have to hard reboot my system because it crashed so don't want to see the message again you're warned but in preferences you have an import button and you have amd mate personal compass manjaro and I have a profile this is my profile you can use my profile and say open and there you go and this is now this effect you can have now these elements of cube elements so i'm pressing now control alt and arrow to the left and to the right this this uh, is arrow up and down uh, let's let's take a look control alt arrow down that's the one i'm pressing so all these things you can do as well and it's going quite fast and it's just on virtual box this is the one we need so it's a safe setting that i give you with some of some nice features you go down or go up again some nice features but like i said compis can be dangerous anyway enjoy the personal settings and maybe you can enjoy manjaro as well or after a week you say no nothing for me i will get rid of it again enjoy mate um we're gonna go on and make our system nicer we have wallpapers that's great but we do not have any of the nicer icons themes and so on all right